Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on Luna 2.0. But before I get started, please click the like and subscribe button as it helps this channel grow very quickly. So we're going to take a look at Luna 2.0 because a lot of people are still invested in it. And I just want to see what's going on. So let's take a look. So first we see this, biggest NFT marketplace in Luna 2.0, Space Tree. And then we see this, this is power of Luna 2.0 NFTs, 90s punks. Then we see, for instance, swaps. Everyone loves a comeback story and Terra Money is definitely back at it again with their brand new Luna 2.0. Buy and sell Luna and Luna Classic on change now. And then we see this. Fight Club is open. Inaugural Launchpad on Terra 2. Now we see all of this, right? But the price is still way down. And nothing seems to be moving with Luna 2.0. Now that could be because of the market. It could just be that, you know, the whole market's down so it's dragging this crypto with it. And other people will just say, well, it's because it's not Luna Classic. But you got to understand something. People are still investing and trying to open projects on Luna 2.0. And there's people here that didn't do anything to anyone. They're just trying to recover what they lost. And I say that all the time when I'm talking about Luna 2.0. Because there's real victims also in this. So whenever I take a look at Luna 2.0, I try to figure out why the price still isn't going up. Big news, Terranauts will be migrating to Terra 2. As an OG Terra NFT project, we really had one choice of where to migrate, and we're super excited to be sticking with the Terra family. Check out our Discord for more information. And again, you know, people still are trying to work. They're trying to get everything they create out there. They want people to see it. I mean, Do Kwon is the true person that made all of this happen not the people that are working to rebuild something and i say that about luna classic also so soil Pro protocol is building soil protocol is dedicated to supporting artists creators and builders with a collection of dev tools smart contracts and apis to enable them to launch their nft projects smoothly on terra money so why would all of these uh, different like NFT creators and everyone else trying to get Luna 2.0 off the ground? It's because they believe in it. They believe that maybe their work is what they, it needs. Use case, utility. I say that about any cryptocurrency. If your crypto has utility and use case, it's no longer a meme coin in any way. People still look at Luna 2.0 as a failed project out of the gate because of what happened. You know, we all know the crash happened and it's terrible. But the people that are trying to rebuild really did nothing wrong. So lunatics, get your wallets ready. Pulsar Finance is about to launch on Terra 2.0. To celebrate, we are preparing one last alpha challenge before our public launch. We will release all details in the following days. Stay tuned. But the thing is, we see all of this, but the price doesn't move. And that's with any cryptocurrency. I could go over and take a look at XRP right now. And they have a ton of use case, a ton of utility, but the price still really isn't going anywhere. And you could say that about any cryptocurrency. Because the market isn't going anywhere right now. We're still in crypto winner. So what I think is going to happen here, I think Luna 2.0 will turn around. And I know a lot of people in the Luna Classic community, they really don't want to hear that at all. But the thing is, I believe that's going to happen for one simple fact. When the market turns around, we see all these projects getting built on Luna 2.0. So the only place it can go is to the upside. It can only go up from here, in my opinion. I mean, nobody ever thought that Luna 2.0 was going to go to zero, I don't think. I mean, a lot of people invested at $10 after it first came out, $15, so they have money invested. They want to see it turn around. And then we see this. 
Nowhere Art is live on Terra 2.0. We have successfully migrated our Launchpad Partner NFTs. Secondary Market is live. Transactions enabled. Launchpad announcements incoming. So over and over again, and I could show you all of that, but the price still doesn't move. And we see this. Will justice prevail? You lend over $650 million to this guy and a sinking ship like 3AC. It's not like Voyager was standing on firm ground. Bad for crypto and exchanges in general. The Terra Luna rug pull by Do Kwan, and he's free to start Luna 2.0 and scam more people. And that's the thing. We keep seeing this now. We keep seeing it throughout all of crypto. Not just with Luna. You know, Celsius had issues. You know, and now we see it again. And we'll see it again and again over time. And it's not good for crypto in any way. So you got to be careful where you invest your money. And I think the good thing about Luna, this is probably the best thing I could say, is that, okay, so it crashed. It hit rock bottom. The only place it could go now is up. And I think people would get behind Luna 2.0 if there was some kind of justice taken against Doquan. They would feel like, okay, well, he got his. Now let's move forward. But you can't do that while he's still running the show. You know, he's still involved. People don't want him to be involved in anything. And I think that could be another reason why the price isn't moving. Or didn't stabilize maybe around $7, $8 after coming down from 20 or 30 dollars but we're gonna have to see how that all plays out so we see this crypto 2022 luna luna 2.0 this is how people feel about it you know they feel it's dead it can't come back now i know anything can come back from you know like a phoenix from the ashes i think the luna classic community proves that but the Luna 2.0 community also believes that in their way. And we see new projects coming on board. So we're going to have to see how this all goes when the market finally starts coming back. But you're never going to get it out of this right here. No, screw Luna. Do Kwan turned his back on Classic. We need to abstain from Luna. I want his 2.0 to fail. They don't want the people that are building upon Luna 2.0 to fail. They just want him to fail. That's why I'm saying if he just got out of Luna 2.0 and said, I'm done with it. I'm done with cryptocurrency. I'm, he goes and does whatever he does, takes the money and runs or whatever. Okay. If he's gone, I think people could then get behind this. So top cause, cause, most IBC network projects by alt rank last month. What do we see there? Luna Classic and Luna. So they're together in this. You know why? Because the same people that are invested in Luna 2.0 are the same people that are also invested in Luna Classic, in my opinion. Most of the people that invested in Luna 2.0 thought they could, you know, maybe 2x or 3, 4, 5x their money quick with Luna 2.0. But the community in, as a whole does not want to see any more progress for Do Kwan. I think until they get past that, Luna 2.0 can be dead right now. And that could be why the price isn't moving. But I think markets always figure out a way to sort themselves out. So I think maybe this is a better prediction. So let's take a look. If we come down here, okay... They're saying the maximum price is $25.16 in 2022, but then we see it start going up. Could that just be because they feel the rest of the market is going to go up also? I think at this point, if Doquan got out, this price would definitely move to the upside. With that said, I'm going to wrap up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.